Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to our subject, PE3S. Okay pa ba tayo dyan? And galaw-galaw sa tabi. Eight counts daw be. Shake, shake, shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Okay. We have here unit one and introduction to dance. Okay. Dance is fun. It lifts the spirit, strengthens the body, and simulates our mind. Okay, according to Mettler, dance is an activity which can take many forms and fill many different needs. It can be for recreation, pwede siya lingaw-lingaw, or kanang wala kay lingaw, pwede entertain men, or gusto ka malingaw. And education, kaniya to ang klase karon For pwede po siya therapy kung nakay sakit and gamimuni mo siya therapy. And sa religion, kanang nagas praise and worship good o kanang sa animation, pwede na siya. Dance is a form of art. Ah, by the way, sa religion, ginagamit po siya katong ritual good. Pwede magsisayaw sila. Uh, well, katong sa unang panahon, to sa pre-Spanish, itong mga anito, nagasamba sila. Uh, pwede po nila ginagamit ang dance as a form of kining religion. Dance is a form of art because through rhythmic movement, people can actively express themselves, their culture, and even religion. Form of art siya, ba diba? Sa inyong subject sa... Uh, Yung one, di ba, na added to that uh, dance is part of performing arts. Okay, as time goes by, many studies also concluded that dance could be a form of exercise or work that can improve our health. The British Journal of General Practice in his article, Dance as Exercise, cited that the qualities of benefits offered by dancing depends on the form of concern but as general rule it improves physical health by developing strength suppleness coordination and balance in varying amounts karon there is a unit we will trace the history of dances Describe its nature and discover the types of dances which we can engage in and make as a recreational activity. Dancing also can be a part of physical activity that promotes active lifestyle for everyone. Okay, what are those learning targets? Ang sa mga learning targets na to, ang possible na to nga makuha ani nga subject or kani nga lesson. This unit, you should able to discuss the nature and differences of dances. What are those classifications of dances? What are those type of dances? May ilan nato na siya later on. Ex- explain how to optimize the energy systems for safe and improved performances. Okay, dili lang man ta kay magsaysaya ta, but we should consider also how we can utilize the uh to optimize energy systems for safe and improved performance. Okay, in lesson 1, we have the evolution of dance. Before man can do anything, he must draw breath, he must move. Movement is a source of condition of life. To dance is to be out of yourself. Large, more larger, more beautiful, more powerful. This is power. It is glory on earth and it is yours for the taking. So, this is according to Agnes. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to trace the origin of dance history as managikan. Then, the nature and style and the type of dances. Of course, natin mga words to encounter. Timan na to ni. Kay possible, pwede ni siya mugawa sa exam what are those rhythmic movement and noble or egg noble okay warm up ok 
kaya na siyang warm up. Essential questions, ano nga lesson? Pero bago tamo proceed. How has the history of a dance influenced its nature and transformed the types of dances today? Sige, at anong balaan ang question? Brief history and nature of dance. Asa man siya daigikan ang dance? Dance can be seen among all the people and civilizations of the world. Dances thrive at different periods in history and mostly were resulted in intercultural change and contact. The origins of dance are rooted in the prehistoric past. Dugay na din nga panahon na na di ay nag-involve na di ang dance. Various artistic, religious, and social forces started in the incorporation of development of dance. Ginagamit na dahil siya into religious aspects. The table on the next page summarizes on the origin of the dance from prehistoric up to modern times. Okay. During prehistoric, form of religious ritual siya and social expression sa primitive culture. Man danced the originally to supplicate the gods in all important occasions of life. Kato magpasalamat sila sa ilang mga gods and goddesses. Nagaperform sila og mga sayaw. Kung si mga purpose, ano nila? First, use dance as a gesture in order to communicate. Makikommunicate sila sa ilang gods and goddesses. It was used as a means of expressing and reinforcing tribal unity and strength. Also, approach courtship and mating as it means of worship, therapeutic and experiences. Ah, mag, mag ka ng mga bailihan, good, ano siya. And people from prehistoric era perform ways and hope would a piece of the por ah uh, would a piece the forces of nature or give them grant them new powers to mga yu silag strength sila mga batala in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern it was only during the time that real knowledge of dance came about katung knowledge na lang sila knowledge about sa dance sa ancient Egypt. Ang dance kay in a full bloom and richly recorded. It is reflected in their wall paintings. Makita na to rito nga nagasayaw sila. Reliefs and in the literary records of hieroglyphics. Or hieroglyphs. Itong sa ilagong ginaukit nila sa ilang bato. Most of the dances during this era were mainly medium of religious expression. Commonly, di ba? For religious expression only. During the times of ancient Greeks, in Greeks they believed that dance was closely linked with other kinds of experiences. According to Plato, he mentioned gave the importance to dance in education, as stated in his Elucidication of the Laws, taught as an aid for military education because ancient Greeks na mga military training ginagamit nila na ang dance. It was not just for religious and military training, pero but also form of entertainment and display. Pwede na na yung mga nag-perform, perform dito. And si Plato and Arisusel gisupportaan niya that dance is an art and integration of the body and soul. Okay, back here. He, si Plato also highlighted the two kinds of dance and music, which is the noble or fine and honorable and ignoble, meaning katung imitating what is mean or ugly. Manana to ha? When noble gani, it's fine and honorable. Pag ignoble, imitating what is mean or ugly. Okay, during sa ancient Rome, unsa man eh, unsa'y gamit sa ilang dance, unsa'y purpose ato nila, Romans gave less importance, wala kaya nila ginatagaan o bili ang dancing, because dance became brutal and sensationalized as their entertainers were slaves and captives from many nationalities, and it was used more often for gruesome purposes. Dance eventually became integral part of corruption, 
Ito na, dito na nanggawas itong mga katong mga ginagamit na nila itong mga babae para mag-perform. Ginayagayagaan na nila. O itong wili kayo nila ginataga ang importansya ang dance during sa ancient room. Development of church or of the Catholic Church in Europe following the fall of Rome transformed the history of dance. The church was the sole custodian and learning and education as well the source of morals. Kaya wala kay nagafocus sila sa dancing. Okay, in dark and early Middle Ages katong uh, panahon sa ano god katong dagan kaayd mga gera. This marked the beginning of social dancing. The peasants performed two basic types of dancing, round dance and couple dance. When I say round dance, dancers hold dance forming a long chain of movement in an open or closed circle in an extended line. Ang couple dance naman, this time, that time was not as popular as round dance. It was considered as scandalous when it was first seen. Kay couple dance man siya. Back here, ginagamit nila ang dance Purpose is they perform in villages or village squares and were eventually welcomed in the in the castles. Kanang uh, pasabot ani ginagamit for example kanang naay op kanang sa mon uh, sa mga ano god kanang mga kining monarchy uh, ginagamit nila ang social dancing as a form of kanang gathering. Unang di are you familiar with katong Frozen? Di ba nakit ania dito si katong Nakit ani Ana dito tama ba? Ani Ana dito tong si Prince, 'di ba? Sa social dancing lang sa sayo lang sila sa minyo na dance. So yun Ana ang style sa unang panahon. Okay, in early Renaissance, dance was wholly accepted in the courts as a gradual increase of capital class produced patrons of learning and art in Europe. The entertainers now become the valuable uh, valuable appendage to the courts of Italy and France. So, ginagtagaan na nila o bili diri ang mga entertainers. In 15th and 16th centuries, a vast dance movement occurred throughout courts of in Europe. Nagaperform na sila. Other dance forms also came light and have been widely recognized worldwide. So, daghan nang gawas diri nga mga types of dances. During these times, the new court dances performed the domestic came and gave the rise to the art of ballet in Italy. Pero usually, kaninga time, ang pwede lang makatanawan ni eh, is katong mga dato lang. Kaya nag-perform ng mga ballet or mga ballerina, ballerina sa mga stage plays so ang mga royal families lang sa ang un, ang pwede makatanaw ani nga time after ana contemporary dance as that were stylistic variations of ballet emerged nag-emerge na siya so gikan siya because ballet is the foundation of all the dances after ana nagka-evolve evolve nagadunggaga nagka-innovate mo na nang abot na ng mga different types of dance styles kanina na ko atong i-discuss karon ballet is often dubbed as the backbone of dance because naasaya ang mga fundamental steps it is a dance style that requires intricate movements to relay the message of a story the basic dance steps in ballet usually use entire dance styles this dance typically use technique and requires enormous diligence and dedication to perfect. Ballet has three classifications. Ang sama na siya. Classical, neoclassical, and contemporary. When I say classical, katong pinaka-strict, neoclassical, katong na na siya na gamay, and contemporary, talaga na siya na-innovate, pero nagyapon ang basic movement sa ballet. When I say contemporary dance is a dance of style that integrates modern katong ingon nagdaga na siya sagol ballet and jazz sige daw contemporary gani na ang modern ballet og jazz it allows the dancer to express their feelings freely and it unites the mind and the body through dance movements 
Usually, ang ballet, stricto kaayos siya, pero ang contemporary, much ano siya, luag-luag siya gamay. Kaya katong, kung magbalay ka, usually ang mga bata nga magbalay, usually gina-engage na siya, 3 years old, kay kung tigulang na ka, gahit na mga kagbukog, so lisod na kay siya, lisod na kay ka makakatun o balay. Sa jazz, what is jazz? Kung ka nang makadungog mo o ka ng mga jazz music, after ana nagya pa siya element sa ballet pero where siya ka na syncopated na iyang count good 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 yun ana ang jazz it's a type of dance that is jolly and enthusiastic so paspas na siya gamay pero nagya pa siya element of uh, katong mga element sa ballet it is naturally combined with upbeat music such as hip hop show tunes to add theatrical flair, jazz dancers frequently have more freedom to express their unique character through their dance presentations. These dances usually have a lot of leaps, mga ambak-ambak, quick footsteps, turns, mga tuyuk and other unique moves. Usually, paspas ni ha. Folk dance. Okay. Say folk dance. O sa are leisure or ceremonial dances that usually executed by members of a community to which the dance is what? Traditional. Here sa Philippines, the mother of Philippine folk dance is Kinsa? Si Francisca Reyes Aquino. Siya ang nagpasikat or naghimo og mga dance literature sa Philippine folk dance. Usually, ginaobserbahan lang niya ang mga ang mga nahitabo sa palibot then after ana iyan na dayong gihimuan og sayaw like for example kanang kanang tinikling nag-observe lang siya sa langgam nga nagambak-ambak sa kawayan so didto nakita ni Francisca Reyes Aquino nga pwede siya himuon og dance so ang folk dance it's traditional itself siya and na siya story behind modern dance when I say modern dance, it is deeply rooted in ballet syllabus. It started as free and expressive form of dancing. Free. Free ex and expressive. Dili siya stricto. Kanos aman siya nagsugod? 20th century. Kanos aga 20th century? Between 1901 to 1999. Mauna ang 20th century. Karon, pag start of 2000 up to present, we are in the 21st century na siya. In current years, in current years, it has evolved fundamentals that usually related to dance such as speech and film. Kana itong mga makitaan karon ng mga free, ng mga sayaw, mauna na siya include modern dance. Okay. Ano siya mga examples o oh. Jazz, folk dance, o modern dance. Pictures na na siya. Kani, mo ano yung pinakaganahan ninyo? Hip-hop is a style of dance that progressed from hip-hop principles and typically performed to hip-hop music. Break dancing is the most familiar type of hip-hop dance or hip hop pwede po siya matawag na street dance because nisikat ni siya sa United States ginasayaw magod ni siya kanang sa street dance nagod kanang shudong shudong sa mga lalaki mo na siya diha nag evolve ang street dance and this style dance perhaps most diverse in other forms because usually very bouncy that permits dancer to have freedom of movement within repetitive music and can integrate into one's personality Ballroom, on sa maning ballroom, typically done with a partner. So, partner ha, pwede si crush, uh, dapat pangita, pili on dyan inyong crush, kaya para maka, makakakuan mo kay crush. Man and woman, for this purpose, it is well known as a social dance. Other terms sa ballroom is what we called social dance because basically ballroom is came from the word baliare which means a hall a, ro a room and matawag na to siya nga social dance is because partner partner man siya so makig socialize ka with each other so mag change change mo partner so 
dira nagsugod ang ballroom. Because the communication between two dance of uh, between the two dance partners, di ba matokong ingon? The common types of ballroom are cha cha, foxtrot, jive, lindy hop, mambo, paso doble, quick step, rumba, samba, tango, Venice waltz, and the waltz. Kani, pwede niyo na siya matanawan ang mga examples na aran ni sa YouTube ang mga examples. Later on, ato na siyang ma uh, activity. There is a competitive form of ballroom which is called pag competitive gani, dance sport na na siya different rules and regulations in executing the steps. Other term gani sa ballroom, sa ganito, social dance pag ang ballroom gani i-turn nata siya into competitive form unsan ang tawag niya dance sport okay ano siya usually ballroom okay let's proceed to here cheer dance cheer dance is relatively new field of sports and dance that is only emerged during the 1990s as part of cheer leading events. Usually, na-create lang ang cheer dance basically para ma-motivate itong mga players. Gina-cheer lang nila, go, go, go. Go. Go sexy. A sexy, sexy mo. Charla. <laughs> it is one of the categories in the international cheer leading competitions that focuses on the dance techniques and basic elements of cheer leading. On saman tong basic elements, stunts, Itong mga tumbling skills and gymnastic skills. The, the performers are cheerleaders and not just dancers. ba? Diba? Na may dua ka section ang cheer dance. Ang music section o ang dance section. When we say music section, katong naga, nanay music, katong nagasayaw, nagod sila. Ang cheer section, katong nagasyagit-syagit sila. Mauna ang... Uh, El, ang timailahan na to sa cheer dance aside anak na pa mga elements katong mga pyramids katong lifting na adira tanan ang mga, ang mga uh, category sa cheer dance okay let's analyze how is ballet different from folk dancing sige daw let, sige daw una una ah unsay kalay aniya When we say ballet, it has technique nga ginasunod and unsa pa, very strict siya pagkauman ang folk dance, unsa ganyan ang folk dance, it's traditional. Usually, ginaperform niya, traditional siya. Ang ballet na asay, unsa man eh, story the same gihapon sa folk dance pareho ang ang folk dance especially diri sa Philippines naga uh, gikapi ni ang fundamental steps sa fundamental steps sa ballet so in uh, in your activity Kindly answer this. May lana ko ang nag-answer. Answer this question. Tapos, pwede nyo isulat sa band paper o pwede nyo i-type sa inyong notepad or sa inyong cellphone tapos screenshot or picture ninyo isend sa GC. Butang inyong pangalan. Eh, kalimti yung pangalan ha. Isend dito sa GC. So, mauna inyong ha, activity for today sa inyong pagpaminaw sa discussion. Mauna inyong quiz karon, Ha? Gamay lang good, at least one paragraph lang. Okay. Kani, sadihi lang ni ni, kay basi mo gawas ni siya sa exam. Kani, kani. Okay. Group presentation. Dilip mo to pwede aning group presentation. Perform all parts of workout warm up stretching activity portion and cool down 
Okay, karon we will use the social media para sa ato ang activity. Okay, I mean now, what is our activity? I send the news ako uh, next week. For 40 seconds to 1 minute, mag-perform mo og on sa man, kani atong i-perform. Pick any different style, jazz, modern, ballroom, folk dance, or hip-hop. And sayaw ninyo mag-video mo, pwede, pwede mo you can use TikTok. Kay one minute lang man siya. Basta, makita na ko ni, pwede jazz, pwede modern, pwede ballroom, pwede folk dance and hip hop. E send din yun na sa ko a ah, Thursday. Thursday ta mag start og send hantod Friday. So walay mag send sa ko a ah, og Monday to Wednesday aning activity. Timan ang third ay 40 seconds to 1 minute lang ha ang inyong video. Okay, duha atong activity. Kani o kani. So, kay group man eh, dili lang ta mag group, mag individual lang ta. So, individual ni sa kamura isa. Kuha. Okay, nasabtan. Okay, stretch, stretch, B stretch. 8 seconds, 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, ang wala nag-stretch, single forever. <laughs> Sige. Okay, winning moments. Ang sabi niya siya, Ballet is the first dance style which started from 15th to 16th century. It is considered as one of the most difficult styles in dancing. Aside from the rhythmic movements, it also requires artistic expression of the body, which tells a story to the audience. Liza Teresa Pacheco Makuha Elizalde is the first Filipino to be known. Pwede rin siya, well, known as Lisa Makuha man siya. To be known in this kind of dance style, in 1984, she became the first Filipina prima ballerina and the first ever foreign soloist to join the Kiro Ballet. In the Philippines, she is the artistic director of Ballet Manila and the vice chairman of the commissioner of the National Commission on the Role of Filipino Women. Makuha Elizalde is also the directress of a faculty member of the Ballet Manila School, a training center for ballet professionals who are stepped in Russian Vaganova method. Okay, I guess uh, nag-gets ninyo ang lesson 1 na to. So, uh, for this... Um, mawalang to inyong buhaton pero next week pato inyong buhaton take your time lang so dapat mag rest lang mo and just a happy have a happy weekend everyone can I have your smile 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 lovey smile smile bye